हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस अनादर वीडियो ऑन आवर चैनल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एजुकेशन सिस्टम ऑफ इटली so when talking of our education sorry not of our but of italy education we will discuss about its advantages some challenges you might face and some of the data as that will help you to get a better understanding of the education system now counting it back to 1859 when the education system started in italy well let me tell you that the education of italy is considered to be one of the oldest education system in the world like uh, they have the best quality education they give everything affordable these are the things that that are even considered when you look for the university or look for abroad consultancies or abroad education because they have that quality and assurity of good education over there now uh, when talking of their education that is education ministry they are the one who manages it all and uh, like uh, in whole italy or even the whole europe uh, particularly in italy we have 97 universities and they are of top notch qualities this is the very first thing they, uh, which is like the most favorable in their favor now moving ahead uh, let me tell you that in the year 2020 it was said according to reports that they had 17 universities in top 500 but uh, the best part here is that in year 2023 that means in the span of only 2 3 years they have managed to make it to 25 that means they have managed their scope they have managed to increase their education quality that they have 25 universities in top 500 list that test an achievement in university itself now talking of uh, data less and talking of the advantages for you people now the very first is quality of education as i said as it is the oldest one it has the quality it has that assurity that testness of that you will require to have a good education that is the first quality of their education system and the second is affordable affordable tuition fees particularly talking of tuition fees italy is considered to have the most affordable tuition fees when talking of uh, abroad education for indian students that is another big advantages of being there then talking of research and all like they have another advantage that is advantage number 3 that is they invest a lot on research even italy has considered that uh, they uh, itself like consume a lot of uh, their funds on what on research purpose so that they have everything new in their education and that they develop things regularly in their curriculum now access to europe this is something out of syllabus you might say here what we are talking about is the location of italy that means from here from italy you will have easy access to airways and railways as well that means you can discover the whole europe way easier than any other place in italy or around the park of that place now we have another option or another advantage here that is wide range of programs now what does that means when you talk of italy they have so many available options for you to study there that means you don't need to worry about what will i study if you are clear that you want to study this 90% of the times you will find your course that is listed in their program list that means you have a lot of scope there you have lot of chances of studying different different parts of your field or anything you desire about now as we have discussed about the advantages now talking of some more facts and like what we say some stats of it let me tell you it has one of the oldest universities in the world university of bologna it is considered that uh, the university was established way earlier than any of the other renowned institute and considered the oldest and that is even a like what do you say a foundation to build what italy today is in terms of education they say that it was the beginning maha samne shuru kiya that that's where we started about our education and today they are at top of the world that is the reason according to the national institute of statistics that is their own department of uh, data and science where they discuss that in year 2020 when we talk particularly of 2020 2.2 million students registered in italy for university education that itself is a big achievement for a country well now talking of the best universities in italy to study in the top two names will suggest you as the polytechnic university of milan and university of pisa these are the two renowned institutes that where you 
if get in is the best thing to learn from even according to the reports of unesco now you know the big name unesco in year 2020 it has said that the secondary enrollment rate of italy was 100.91 to be particular now you might ask uh, like you are kidding how can it cross 100 nothing can cross 0 200 it can go below but it cannot rise above 100 right but let me tell you what the condition is here in this condition when people who are underage or someone who is repeating the class or someone who is overage apply appearing for this exam then this enrollment rate will decrease or increase and because of this enrollment or because of this conditions the rate is 100.91 percent well now that we have discussed good points about being in italy there are some challenges you might face but let me tell you i'll tell you in the end that these challenges are not so big and you can overcome very easily the very first is language barrier now what does this mean as, as the word says itself you will have language problem what language problem in Italy, the most of the universities that teach their curriculum or their work is in the Italian language. Now, that is where you might face some difficulties. Though they have education uh, in English as well, but when you talk particularly of some renowned institutes or any of a big university, they have in Italian. So, that is the biggest challenge you will face, but that can be overcome. How? How you will overcome? Just start studying about it. Learn online, take classes and just build your communication skills in it Italian as well and you will easily overcome this challenge. Now, second is cost of living now this is something uh, we cannot discuss directly we cannot say much about it but yeah if you compare the cost of education and living you will see that the cost of living is more so that is a challenge to yourself but if you do research properly if you have some if you even don't have contacts properly but if you do a good research and uh, like look after some things or put in the points at all everything aligned for yourself then for sure you will have a good place to live as well now the third is cultural differences now you got to embrace the italian cultural as well because you are going out you are not home you will go out you got to learn new things you got to learn how to be there how you will talk with them what is their culture how they behave so that is a challenge i would say for me it's not a challenge and for you people it should not be a challenge because that is something you can learn it is something new to develop in yourself as well and to learn about that new place as well because you are if studying there you got to spend two three years there so definitely learn about their culture that is the second point now talking of third one that is sorry the fourth one i have discussed three already now the fourth limited job opportunities for international students now this might uh, make you like a little worried about applying to italy but let me tell you this is just an overview of this challenge that means they have opportunities but what they look for is quality and skills you will get a job no one can guarantee you of course that thing cannot be guaranteed but you will get a job based on what your skills and your knowledge if you have that thing if you have developed that thing in two three years of your education in italy you will get a job overall if you see yeah you might say that international students have less possibilities of getting a job but your skills your knowledge will in the end will define what you will get how much will you get in italy so this were a little challenges and i have told you how to overcome those challenges as well now as we have talked about lot our uh, challenges history a little bit of advantages and now if you are convinced by my talks that you want to pursue your education in italy then i have some advice for you this is a small pointer so these tips will help you to get a better place in italy and a better way to live there now the very first is language barrier or language learning because as i said that it will be a challenge for you in my previous points so in this point i am saying is learn this language this is the very first step and the very basic one as well learn this language because in your daily life also you will need it in your education you will need it in short your 24 hours will depend a lot on what you have learned in italian as well so you should know this language this is the very first point second is be prepared for cultural differences you got to embrace once again i'll say the same thing you got to embrace the culture the religion the things that take place in italy you got to learn about their way of living the food they eat, the places they visit the importance of their places and everything that is a new thing to you and i think you should take it as a positive point to learn something new to grow yourself to have a good overview of what italy looks like so i think this is not a challenge but a good point to keep in your mind and a point to grow on itself as well now budgeting and finance this is a technical thing i cannot say much about it because we are very short on time i cannot cover everything in this video 
but in short we will add an i button video for you in which we have discussed how to cut cost for if you are going abroad for a study so you can refer that video but yeah in short just plan your budget plan your financial condition really well if you want to go and study in italy that is a very important thing when it comes to your parent side or when you talk about your financial side now the fourth is be open minded or be very adaptive be flexible now what does that means if you are going abroad you got to be flexible you got to do little adjustments compromise you got to do you got to learn those words you got to learn to use those words so you got to compromise you got to learn new things you have to be little uh, what we say adaptive be flexible learn to communicate with other people learn to adjust with their things learn how they behave how you got to be what are the differences in india and italy how, and how will you adjust to it this are the small small tips that will help you when you go out in other countries even if you don't talk about italy particularly but you got to embrace the other uh, what we say religion culture and other places as well now you might be wondering that why i was looking down again and again like what is distracting me or what is that one thing that i am again looking at now let me tell you this is something i wants to show you there are some notes you can say or some research work or what do you say homework i have done to prepare this video for you people and i hope you have enjoyed this video just for more information stay with us and we will provide you required links in the description and for more videos stay with us and have fun in your life and please be connected with us subscribe to our channel like this video share it with your friends who wants to go abroad and stay tuned to this channel for more videos thank you